The Primus Apex avionics system on the Pilatus PC-12 offers pilots and operators a state-of-the-art avionics system found in the industry's most advanced aircraft. The Apex system offers pilots numerous features that are easy to use and well integrated into the PC-12 cockpit. The Apex system comes with four high-resolution LCD displays, two PFDs, one situational MFD, and one systems MFD. The data on the screens can be configured by the pilot. All of the information that a pilot needs to see is conveniently displayed in front of each pilot. In addition to the displays, the APEX system includes two audio control panels used to control cockpit and cabin audio, as well as select nav and comm radios. A guidance panel is used to control the flight guidance system and autopilot. Two PFD controllers are used to control what is displayed on the PFD, as well as tune comm and nav radio frequencies. A multifunction controller is used to control the cursor, enter data, and configure displays. In addition, a dedicated cursor control device is mounted in the pedestal where the pilot's hand would naturally fall. The CCD makes navigating within displays easy and fits comfortably in the palm of your hand. The PFD displays all primary flight data on a real-time synthetic vision display. In addition to standard flight instruments, the Synthetic Vision System also displays additional data that supplements the pilot's situational awareness. It also incorporates many features that help the pilot fly the airplane. Items such as a flight path vector, an acceleration chevron, dynamic speed bugs, and more are presented on the PFD. The PFD also contains engine instruments and a radio tuning window in the direct field of view of the pilot. The radio tuning window displays the active and standby nav and comm frequencies and transponder information. In the standard configuration, the upper MFD contains the iNav display and FMS information. The iNav display contains various map overlays and a lateral and vertical terrain display. The map display is interactive. Clicking on items on the map will display additional information and even allow for direct tuning of radios. The iNav display can also be used to create a flight plan graphically. It also contains a Jeppesen chart display. The lower MFD contains aircraft systems data as well as a crew alerting window. When the aircraft is on standby power, the displays are configured in pre-departure clearance mode. Here, two displays are available for certain tasks, such as pre-departure flight planning and radio communications. Pilots interface with the APEX system in various ways. The primary method is with the CCD. The CCD features a trackball used to control the cursor and various buttons that make navigating and making selections on the displays much easier. The MFC contains a joystick that serves as an alternate means of controlling the cursor. In addition, bezel buttons located on the displays can be used to activate corresponding selections. The PFD controller is used to control the items displayed on the PFD, as well as radio tuning functions. The APEX system has a full-featured flight management system that can be used as needed by the pilot. If a few entries are made, the APEX system can perform full performance calculations which provide the pilot with fuel and time predictions. Flight plans can be entered using the MFC keyboard, graphically using the INAV map, or sent wirelessly to the aircraft from the MyGDC flight planning app. In flight, the FMS provides advanced navigation features such as secondary flight plans, holding, pilot-created waypoints, orbit patterns, 
and the ability to fly offset courses when necessary. The autopilot features full VNAV capability, which can be used for climbs and descents, including stars and approaches. RNAV approaches can be flown to LPV minimums. The selected autopilot modes are indicated on the flight mode enunciator on the PFD. The APEX system also contains various safety enhancing systems, such as TAWS, TCAS, onboard weather radar, and XM weather. The APEX system comes standard with Class B TAWS. TAWS provides visual and oral warnings to prevent a C-fit scenario. Class A TAWS, or Enhanced Ground Proximity Warning System, is an option. TAWS data can be displayed by selecting the overlay on either HSI. The Traffic Alert and Collision Avoidance System, or TCAS, detects unsafe traffic conflicts with other transponder-equipped aircraft. The TCAS system provides visual and oral traffic advisories when the traffic conflict is within 15 to 30 seconds away. The onboard weather radar system provides a visual indication of precipitation intensity and turbulence. Weather radar is displayed by selecting the overlay on the HSI. The radar controls, including tilt and gain, are located on the MFC. The tilt can be adjusted 15 degrees up or down, and the range can be adjusted from 5 to 300 miles. The XM Weather Overlay menu on the INAV map contains XM Weather products that can be displayed on the MFD. XM Weather is a streaming weather data source which provides various weather data that can be displayed on the INAV map. The Honeywell Primus Apex Integrated Avionics System on the Pilatus PC-12 contains features and capabilities found in the industry's most advanced aircraft. For more information on specific features, refer to the Honeywell Pilot's Guide.